this first step that I'm going to show you here is very important. If you don't do this, you're going to be very frustrated trying to get the engine timed after you install the electronic ignition. Go ahead and remove the rotor and you want to turn the engine over until you get one of the lobes opening the points. Right there, you can see this one here is just opening the points. It doesn't matter which one. This is going to give you an alignment mark for when you install the rotor disc for the electronic ignition. So I've turned it over a couple times. I lucked out, you know, there it is. It's right, uh, right on this lobe. It's just opening up. I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to come directly across from this lobe and I'm going to put a mark there and then I'll come directly across from this lobe and put a mark there. It's just a secondary mark. Now, once you have those reference marks, you can go ahead and remove the points and the condenser and this green wire. And then we can start installing the components for the electronic ignition. After trial fitting the components here, you need to take it all apart and then tighten all the screws. Now, this screw for the bracket, I held on to some needle nose pliers while I tighten that screw. So now I'm ready to install the optical trigger. I can set this in position like this. And I've got it just where I want it. I can move this right to where the optical trigger light is just over the top of that slot right there. Alright, now I've got the height right. I've got the shutter so it rotates right in the center part of this optical trigger. Up and down. Okay, I'll push it in, pull it back, and go ahead and tighten it down. Now we're ready to install the custom spacer washer. I'm going to call this the hold down washer because it has to go on over the shaft here and it has to butt up against this ridge on the shutter to make sure it doesn't rock. So this will go right on over the shaft and you're going to push it down and you'll hear it actually snap into the slot like that. And then we're going to take the rotor and push the rotor all the way down and now we have no movement, no movement at all with that shutter. Then I'm going to take the wiring and I'm going to bring it around the outside of the distributor housing and we're going to go right out this hole here. The next thing is to connect the plug here and this is very important. You need to make sure the colors of the wire match. You notice that this part of the plug came disconnected from these three wires. That's so you can route it through a hole in the distributor. Some distributors only have a hole and you need to be able to push this through the hole before you secure this plug on the end of these wires. I'm looking at the wiring here. There's black, white, and gray. So I'm going to take black, white, and gray and just put them in the ends I know my hand's in the way here, so I'll get the hand out of the way. Now you can see here, I've got black, white, and gray, black, white, and gray. Now I can disconnect the plug here and completely push these in until they lock. So I'll plug this in. Make sure it locks. All right, now I can put the distributor cap back on and I'll install the rotor. Make sure everything's tight. I'll put the rotor on. Make sure it's all the way down in the notch. I gotta make sure I put this vacuum hose back on. I'll go ahead and set the distributor cap in place. Then you wanna probably snap this inside one which is harder to get on first notice I'm twisting the distributor cap to make sure it's locked into that notch and then I'll snap this side on okay we'll replace the vacuum hose for the advance 
But that does it on the distributor side. I'm going to go back over here and check the wiring and then we'll fire it up. Once you finish with the distributor, you can button that up. And then it's going to be time to install the XR700 ignition module and hook up the wiring. Now, what I'm going to tell you is applicable to all four, six, and eight cylinders. And this is really important. This is one of the most important you know, parts of this job. People have had problems with this not working or overheating, and it usually has to do with improper wiring or improper ballast resistance. Now, you can see this can be mounted anywhere. You've got quite a bit of wiring length here. Now, I'm going to have to put it over in there, but I'll still be able to reach the coil, and I should still be able to reach the plug coming from the distributor. Keep in mind, that when you get this unit from us, it has some amazing instructions. Here's the diagram that you would use to wire it by. So what I've decided to do in this video is not video the wiring setup. <laughs> because I want you to read these instructions. And it's funny, people will watch videos and they won't read the written instructions. But there's some very valuable information on these sheets, particularly related to the ballast resistance. This is real critical. If you hook this up and it doesn't work, or you hook it up and it runs hot, it's usually because you did not follow the instructions related to the ballast resistor. I'm not going to go over that in this video. I'm forcing you to read the factory instructions, okay? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to install the module. I'm going to wire it up, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to cross our fingers and see if this engine will run. Now remember, we're going to try to see if this fires up. I don't have the distributor perfectly adjusted yet, but that's going to have to be done with a timing light. But I think I've got it close enough, and now I just want to see if it'll fire and run. Oh, look at that. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, I gotta shut this off and get the car ready to move outside. You're gonna get to see now why I left the distributor in the center of the adjustment slot and I left it loose. I can turn it a little bit by hand, watch as I retard it. Okay. And then I can advance it. And I can almost do this by feel. Right about in there. That's good enough until I get a timing light on. 